the fuck? Fucking unlawful U-turn in the middle of the street without even a fucking blinker? Uh, I forgot to put oil in my vehicle. Oh wait, I'm just taking him back here to get gas. Look, he's he's literally towing him to the gas pump. Sorry. Corrupt and dirty. But at the same time, for those of you who say that all cops are bad, I would tell you that that would mean that all criminals are guilty. Until proven. Uh, we'll sit here and watch this dude who just pulled up with this tow truck. He's just waiting for his paycheck. He just dropped this in the back who uh, forgot to fuel up before he left. Don't know how to put gas in your car? Of course, they're laughing at him and making fun of him, but, I mean, things like that happen. And again, you see right there. They're the towing management contractor. So, you know, they get these easy little gigs like that. And again, that's what we as citizens pay for when officers are too stupid to put gas in their vehicles. Yep, there you go. San Antonio's finest. Again, too stupid to put gas in their vehicles, so a tow truck has to pull them all the way back here to put gas in their vehicles. And then you got one, two, three, four officers looking at me like I'm a dirtbag for filming it. <laughs> yep, oh, you just sound your siren. Yep. How about this? How about pay attention to your damn fuel gauge next time instead. Oh, here you go. You got PD-22 from the transit police rolling up. And they're going to go back to, no doubt, the magistrate. So PD-22 from transit authority is going to go back there and drop someone off. Obviously, someone has committed some foul crime. Probably trespassing. Yeah, it looks like you have a couple of signs up here. And there goes the crime scene unit. Parked in the magistrate area where they're not supposed to be parked. It's authorized personnel only. And I do not believe that the crime scene units work for the magistrate. Walk down here. Now there's a guy down here with a skateboard. And he looks pretty chilled out, relaxed. Don't know exactly what he's doing, but it doesn't matter. But. There's no no trespassing signs, no weapon signs, nothing like that.
How you doing? So, there's no firearm signs out here. Payment, bonds, property, or arrested persons. You can call the city magistrate, San Antonio Police Department, San Antonio Property Room, Bear County Jail Property Room, Bear County Jail, and Bear County Magistrate. Again, there you have PD-22 uh, for transit police. Now, they park way away from where they need to transport someone uh, into that magistrate's. Usually they park down by where those other vehicles are. Uh, not my issue, not my concern. But just wondering who's uh, driving PD-22 because I do know most of the transit police officers. Um, most of them have been pretty cool throughout the four or five months that I've dealt with them but recently they started harassing auditors and um, you guys know me if they harass me I push back so um, seeing them pull into the magistrates that means they got someone for something um, day after Christmas come on He's made his drop. He's he's wanting to get out of here. It's time for him to go home. Good morning. He's like, oh shit, it's that guy. I'll wave to him as he goes by. No, don't recognize him just off of his appearance. And no friendly way back, but that's typical with police. Proper signage, restricted entry, police personnel only versus authorized personnel only. Problems. And again, that's on that roadway. And the city chooses to leave up those signs instead of posting them where they need to be. And they know they need to be on the other side of that road. But they leave them there going, well, it's no big deal. And if someone sues us, uh, then, you know, we'll change it once we get sued. Here you got people driving right past those signs that say, hey, you can't go driving past here. It's no trespassing. Again, complete bullshit. And the sign right on the road tells them to go right this way. Now, hopefully these people won't try to drive into the restricted area. Now, they're going to go down here and pick someone up from the jail. And again, that's what that area is intended for people picking people up from jail from the magistrates doing whatever lawful activities they need to do but again if that's open to the public then it's open to all of the public not restricted members of the public and the police will always interpret signs the way that benefits them at the time. And the courts will always back police officers up. These people are going down here and 
They're trying to gain entry into the building. Wait, citizens. Oh, citizens, push the button. Push the button. We may or may not let you in. You see, you can't pay your fines here, but you can pay them there. That office is open to the public 24-7. Ooh, that's some nasty phlegm I coughed up. Now, both of these people went back to their vehicle and got masks on because of the sign on the door. And they're obviously trying to be compliant with city Hi. policy. How are you doing? Okay, how about you? I'm doing great. Yeah? Yeah, you're Going Officer on. Lopez? I am. What's your name? First and last. In case 130 and 156, uh, for it's service to the max, said that there was a male in the max lobby, possibly intoxicated, that was causing a disturbance. What's your name, sir? Hold on just a second while I start my video. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. You identified yourself as Officer Lopez. My vision's not so good. What is your, your name, first and last? What's your badge number? Yeah, I'm good. What's your first and last name? What is the reason for you asking my name? We got a call over here at the magistrates of a person causing a disturbance. And it's matching your description. Okay, what kind of disturbance was that person causing? Person with the stick, ringing the doorbell constantly. What's your first and last name? I'm not going to answer any questions. Okay, goodbye then. Take off. The oh. business is closed for the day. Ex okay. Excuse me, sir? I said take off. Okay, first of all, you're going to lie to me. You're a piece of shit. I, I really believe that. No, you can go fuck yourself. You coming up and trying to start shit is inappropriate, Officer Lopez. So again, you can go fuck yourself. What a lying piece of shit sitting here saying I walked up and rang the doorbell constantly. Can you get your supervisor out here, Officer Lopez? What's that, Officer Lopez? You're not going to call your supervisor? Officer Lopez, I'm asking for your supervisor. What a fucking piece of shit. This is what I'm talking about. Pigs, dirty fucking pigs harassing citizens. I'm looking at the flagpole in front of your police station. I'm standing on the 401 South Frio side of the police station. There's a female officer talking to the male officer who violated my rights. And so it would be uh, 35 yards from 515 South Frio's lobby. All right, just don't be there as soon as they can. Call right back. And what's your officer's name who's going to be responding? Okay, well, the officer has just now walked outside of the lobby, and he's approaching me again, or some officer is. Can you tell me what the name of the sergeant who's approaching me is? I don't have that information, sir. How are you? Okay, well, there is a sergeant approaching me. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Thank you. How can I help you? Well, I'm on the phone with non-emergency. Okay. Did they call you out here? No, nah, another officer 
say there was an issue. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, there, there's an issue. This guy right here, he says his name's Lopez. Is that correct? Yes. You. I'm asking you. What's your name? No, I, I'm you're talking to me, Story. We've, we've gone through all this before. What's, what can I help you with? Sergeant Roberts, I'm out here. I ain't causing no problems. You know me. Right. I'm not causing anybody a problem. And your officer comes up and makes false allegations, implies I have to give him my ID. You know me. I know you. Okay? okay? I'm not out here giving him grief. I'm doing a story. That's what I do. Okay? He wants to talk bullshit. That's up to him. I don't care anymore. I really don't. I'm fed up with your officers coming up and violating my rights. And when he does this, and he walks up to me and says, you need to give me your ID now. And I say, why? And he says, you're over here ringing this doorbell constantly. And I'm like, you're full of shit. Go find another reason to harass someone else. He knows it isn't true. I know it's not true. And he coughs an attitude and says, whatever, and walks off. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not an excuse for you to come up and harass me. Okay. Why are you approaching me? He says he has a call. Where was this at? I was standing right over by this other tree at the time. What, were you, what, were your, what was your business up there? <clears throat> My business is filming in public. You know that. Okay. Um, so you, you weren't, you didn't go to the municipal court to do something, correct? And I'm not knocking you for what you did or did not. I'm just trying to understand the whole picture. You didn't have business up here. My business was following up on PD-22. On okay, okay. PD-22 of Via Trans. I'm fine with that. I just wanted to make sure that we're on the same page. Okay. So you're, you were up here seeing if the signs have been changed and blah, blah, blah. And in addition to that, I followed up on the signs, and then I saw Via PD-22, which has been my late, latest story, okay. Via Trans issues. I saw Via Trans go down there. I waited outside the gate, didn't bother anybody, didn't knock on any doors. I waved to the officer as so he you came. you were in that parking lot? No, I was on the public sidewalk. Okay. Past that curb line. Let's walk over here and I'll show okay. it to you. We, we've, we've gone over this. We've gone over this with the city attorney. I, I have no problem with you being back here. Okay. We've gone over this with the city attorney. I've done this multiple Correct. times. And every time I've tried to clarify it so officers don't do what this guy did, right. there's an issue. Yeah. And... I walk down this public sidewalk, this public sidewalk, if you look from where I'm at, I'm going to scroll my body cam, left okay. and right, no signage anywhere saying this is a restricted area. I walk down this public sidewalk, I walk past the magistrates, I don't knock on the door, I look at the door, I observe the signs. Okay. The city removed the unlawful signs. We talked about this. Yes. You, you know you had illegal signs up here. So so here's my deal. And this is what I'll explain to y'all. I personally don't... I get that this is what you, your career and this is what you do. We get a call up here for a man causing a problem. People think you're intoxicated. Whatever the case may be. But this is what we get a call for. So the officer's out here trying to solve the problem. I'm with you. I've talked to the attorneys. I don't. Th I have no problem with you crossing this curb line. And I will tell Officer Lopez that until the city determines and they want to put a fence here. Because to your point, as you've said before, at nighttime you have to, this, this business is used for business. So I don't have a problem with you coming past here in this parking lot. That's it. I'll let him know that. Problem solved. I'll tell them that at roll call until that attorney gets back with us or the city determines, hey, we need to fence this, this parking lot off. This is this is basically open for business, correct? That is correct. That's correct. state law. The issue again goes back to this officer. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Sergeant Robarts. Again, you know me. Do I appear intoxicated to you? I, I'm just telling you what a caller called in and said. Okay. I'm, I'm not telling you, it's not what he said. This is what someone who called said, hey man, there's a man in the parking lot with a stick. He appears to be intoxicated. And he alleged that I kept pushing a doorbell, which was not in the call. I guarantee you that was not in the call. Uh, that I don't, I don't know. I guarantee you it was not in the call. Sergeant Valdez here, he knows me. I don't push issues. You I'm were sorry. flight with me when Sergeant Wing came out there and gave me the unlawful order. I didn't push that. I came back here, I confronted the unlawful orders. That's what I do. I come out here, I follow up on signs, and your officer comes up to me with all kinds of attitude saying, 
Oh no, you you you're doing. And I'm like, no no no, you need to back off. So did, let me ask you this: Did you ever hear from the attorney? From James Cobb? Yeah. Yeah, I have. You took down the legal signs yeah. that I was adamant about. If you notice, your signs that your officers kept telling citizens they would arrest them for if they walked into your okay. lobby, they took those signs down. Okay. There's there's a reason I do what I do. It's not to get officers in trouble. Okay. It's to make sure citizens' rights aren't violated. Okay. So I will let them know that you can go past this curb line and tell the city determines that, that they will fence this off. But as long as they use for this for business and you're not doing business here, ah. But it's not for us to tell you you can't use that parking lot. Again, So it, that wasn't even why the officer approached me. He came up to me and alleged I was causing a public disturbance. Uh, okay. And I'm standing here okay. and I'm going, what kind of disturbance? And then he says, you keep pushing the button down it. And I'm like, no. Did the call taker say that? Yeah, it was about the button. I think that was the issue. Because we already discussed uh, right. how far you can go. And we know it's okay for you to go down the sidewalk. Okay, so you need to contact whoever the call taker is. And you need to go look at that. And at this point, I'm actually going, did they call 911? Who did they so call? The, the issue is ringing the doorbell, like I said. So okay, the exactly. The issue is ringing the doorbell. So if I did not do that. Okay. If I did not do that, and video evidence will show I did not do that, well, I'm not who, who, about the hell, who the hell has the right to call you to try to arrest me for something I never did? You do, but at the same time, if I make a false report, then I'm liable for perjury, making a false police report. So what we, my question we get, we is get again? False statements all the time. No, I, I want to know who made this call alleging okay. I pushed a button okay. because I can guarantee you that that didn't come in on the complaint. Uh, no, it, it did. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was on the keypad. Yeah, but, but it might have been somebody else. They said someone with a skateboard. Yeah. You obviously don't have a skateboard. Yeah. With these, so. Okay. And there's a person on a skateboard down the street. So. I, I'm not. I'm not disputing that because yeah. there was a person with a skateboard right. here, yeah. and I'm not disputing that either. But your officer could clearly see I don't have a skateboard. What he told me was that a person with a walking stick was repeatedly pushing that button. Okay. Did you read that on the? I, I mean, I didn't see that either way, right. when your officer, right. when your officer. Sorry, I think well, I think we're just going to go on the police roll. I'll talk to Officer Lopez. Uh, if you think that he was too quick to make a, a, an accusation that you were the other guy that he was looking for, that was he was called for in the parking lot. When he got here, you, I think I guess you were the only one out here. No, the, the guy with the skateboard actually walked off when okay, he saw Okay, so him you were approach. the only one left. No, he could have approached the guy with the skateboard. Okay, but he approached you. So we'll, we'll tell him where you. We'll share a roll call where you can and cannot go. Anything not fenced, in my opinion, you can go except for minus that alley. And then uh, we'll share it with them. And you know, Sergeant Robarts. Yes. Sir. I went over this with Captain Garcia. I went over this with Lieutenant Zuniga. I went over this with Lieutenant Berrigan down at Bike Patrol about officers doing unlawful things. Today was another once again issue where your officer assumed authority and then demanded my ID. He didn't say, may I please have your ID? He kept insisting I had to provide my name. Okay, you guys do an investigation. You come out and you investigate. I understand that. I have no problem. If he could have explained to me an honest, you know, well, we have a report of a guy pushing buttons down here. And when I said, oh, that's completely bullshit, I didn't do that. And he looks and he goes, yeah, he doesn't have a skateboard if that's what the call came across. If you're saying that's what it is, okay. Then he should have told me at that point, I'm sorry, I have you confused for someone else. I don't need your ID and walked away. Instead, he wants to double down and keep saying, you have to provide your name and ID. Okay. And uh, that is the problem. He, w he was working on his initial investigation. If it offended you, apologize. But at the end of the day, man, we, we, we do police work. We, we get calls. We get we get calls all the time for all various things. 911 hang-up calls, cutting shoes. We get calls for all kinds of stuff. If, if you got your feelings hurt because officer came and asked for your information because you matched the description of somebody doing something illegal, hey, I apologize if you got your, your feelings hurt, and I'm glad, I'm glad nobody got hurt. It all worked out. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, he's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's an impossible job. You can't keep everybody happy. It is an impossible job. The difference, again, is how your officers treat the public. Okay. Okay? 
he walks up to me and he's saying, well, you're intoxicated and you're ringing a doorbell. He's making accusations. Okay. And I'm going, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, somebody called, about. somebody made an accusation. Well, again, fine. Do uh, I look intoxicated I saw, to you? I, I just, I'm sure we're just going to keep going in circles here. I get what your point. You got your feelings hurt because uh, there was, you were standing here in the parking lot for where we got a call involving somebody hitting buttons and you didn't like being accused to be that guy. I, I get it. Your feelings were hurt. It's okay. No, it, it's not about my feelings being well, hurt. Well, I mean, that's how we, we conduct our investigation. We have to ask questions. And if you didn't like the questions being asked, then and it hurt your feelings by asking you certain particular questions while we, while the officer Lopez conducted his investigation, I apologize. But, you know, I mean, sometimes you just can't keep everybody happy in this world because somebody you're, called you're the police. Abso- you're absolutely somebody right. Somebody called the police asking for assistance. We showed up to provide assistance. Who called the police I, I asking know. for you, assistance? I, and if I did know, which I could, I can't give you that. You can go to get that for public records. Let me just, instead of going about this as adversarial, which we have done, you go back to doing what you're doing. I'm going to go about my way today. Okay. I've already got what I needed to get. Perfect. That your signs up here are still not clear, but they are misleading to the public. The same with the signs that you guys removed. Because San Antonio Police Department, beyond a doubt, recognized 80% of your officers could not understand what the okay. no weapons so, okay. sign meant. That'll work. So they, they removed those, but they leave them up in other city buildings and it's caused other problems in other parts of the city so again i'm not trying to be adversarial here what i'm trying to explain to you is that when i follow up on signs i'm not out here trying to give your officers grief but i damn sure don't like well they have a tough job so so i mean it's a tough job of trying to keep people happy so uh, but and it comes across as yeah it, it comes across as you're trying to be difficult and give grief I, I can live with it. It's not the end of the world. I don't get my feelings hurt. But just so you know, that's what it comes across as. I mean, there's a million problems in this world, right? That we could go, we could go to HEB. We could go find a million problems. If you, we can either be part of the solution or just part of problems. I didn't mind you having an issue with the science. Hey, you brought it to our attention. The city attorney's working on it. Good. I have no problem with saying, hey, where I work is not a perfect place. We don't live in a perfect world. I can live with that. But when you have someone coming up and just trying to push push issues and buttons. How um, do you, okay, I understand where you're coming there, but how do you feel what I did today was pushing buttons or causing issues? Did you have business up here? Yes, did I you, already no, explained no, 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 that. No, I mean, did you did you come here for a purpose other than to? Absolutely not. I came up here, I filmed, and everything's right, on. You, but you came up here with the sole purpose of, of basically checking up on us. You came up here with that sole purpose. I came up here to make sure the sign. Okay, so we're so we'll go with that. So you came up here with the sole purpose of check. You didn't come up here to pay your tickets. You didn't come up here to do something in municipal court or the police station. You came up here with the sole purpose of checking up on us, right? I came up here, and and yeah, I'm 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 okay. not I'm not gonna get into good good good. Then, then you have to understand. Our perspective is, hey man, this if, if you were up here and you got confused with doing something wrong and you were selling Girl Scout cookies or you were doing something to help wounded veterans and, and there's great causes. But when someone's up here and they just they're just up here to test you out, like, hey man, we got a million calls, we got people, a lady overdosed about four blocks from here. We got a lot of stuff going on and when you when you spend time coming over here because somebody just wants to test you you know, it, it's kind of it gets frustrating. Okay. Did, because that woman, we didn't get to send somebody to that call. She had to wait there, overdosed on LSD on the on the on the side of the street, because we have so many calls coming in. So when a, a person comes over here and is just testing you, and we have to send two officers over here for this, and other people aren't getting their calls, it gets frustrating. Sir Robarts. Yes, sir. I, I'm going to be flat out with you. Yeah, I appreciate that. that I appreciate that's that. that's complete bullshit. Your yeah. explanation, and I, I tell you that. Because again, you say I'm coming over here testing you. No, I came up and I checked up on the signs. I walked down here. I made sure the unlawful gun signs were removed so that my city did not get sued. And then <clears throat> I walked down and I was waiting for PD 22 from Via Trans to come out so I could talk to him. Okay? 
he had someone back in the detention area. Uh -huh. That area is clearly marked off limits. I didn't go in there. I waited. He drove out. He didn't want to talk to me. He drove off. I didn't make a scene. I walked out. I waited out here. Uh, I was finishing comments, and your officer approached me inappropriately. And again, if he's doing an investigation, why is he approaching me instead of going down there? Because again, the guy with the skateboard was actually walking from here that way. So when your officer is going to say, well, I mean, you you just said in this other Sergeant Valdez said, oh, well, the description was a guy with the skateboard. And the officer said, oh, it's a guy with a stick. Now, one of two things is not true. Either the guy had a stick and a skateboard or the officer decided to lie and <clears throat> say, oh, well, I'm confused. Stick, skateboard, they're the same thing. Oh, okay. Um, but again, okay. why he's going to choose, hey, 